Kidiat, the number four seed from Indonesia, up against the former champion, the number five seed. Lots of variety of shots, lots of holds, deceptions. This should be good. Three occasions. The last time that Peter Gaida had a victory over Hidiat was in the final of the French Open in 2008. Three tough games it was as well. It was a wonderful match. Particularly, I think, in this match, we'll see a bit, little bit of a fight. It'll be quite cagey to start with. But I think when it settles down, it'll be who can con get control of the net and get... I thought he was having real problems using his known angled smashes. Very, very famous for creating wonderful angles, but I thought he was having real problems actually putting the shuttle on the floor. Yeah, it, it, it was oh. before, and I would imagine he was a little bit nervous. I think he will have taken confidence from getting through that match in two. It's not a hall where you can attack flat out the whole time. Li Chong Wei, the Malaysian. But actually, I think the most important shot in men's singles is the net shot. Controls the rally, sets up the rally. There's the short lift. The opportunity for the winner. Good commentating, good example. Got it right. Absolutely right. If you can get early on the net and get that. Certainly in the Jakarta post, she seems to have been around for such a long time. Oh, into the rally. We, uh, that, that's a super play from Peter there in defence. Nice. Lethal combination. And again, he got the he got the early net shot in. Peter. the shuttle cross court that is wonderful from the Dane oh, my. there just the hold we're gonna see the hold Peter committed bang completely sent Peter there's hold but tell for Kidiat the most astonishing record I think is the fact that he's never won a super series title Oh, that's, a, that's an incredible statistic. Huh? That's one I find very hard to understand. Been in the quarter final this year, talked about the tradition, and of course, Denmark have a very good record in the All England Championships. Erlen Cops, of course, multiple winner, seven times winner, I think, of the All England Championship. Morton Frost reached the final eight consecutive years, winning four of them. Paul Eric Hoyer, a couple of times he won. One in the middle for it, Fredrickson as well, often forgot. Well. It's 
going to be wide, yep. From the day, good tight net shot from the Indonesian. But look at this, look how calm he is. Beautiful. This Too many injury problems, of course. That he was always very clear on what he wanted to do, what he wanted to achieve, and he's always looking for an edge. He's always willing to talk to different people, look for different ideas that he can apply. He's been a, a tremendous professional. On that. in England yet to break through into the real top of world badminton but in comparison to 20 year olds becoming world number one I don't know what it is whether it's sheer belief you talked about these two players of you know they're following on uh, previous decades where their own countries have had great players who've won everything um, very good point and in and that makes a big difference Court drop shot when he was off balance. Peter Gator. Oh, yes. Eighteen. Using the jump smash to gain extra angle. Had to go for. Great pace and agility to get behind the shuttle and fantastic precision. Oh, screen in the National Indoor Arena here, Eight waiting up. for the replay. What a good call by the line judge. That is perfect. Now, Taufik Hidayat has a game point of his own. Game. And this perfectionist, and it, it, it's this, that, that's a similar situation. Second set. He won't be letting this one go easy. And he's, he's probably got the better end for his game, I would suggest. Taufik won't as well. There's got to be a little bit of doubt in his mind, having lost the last three times to Taufik and losing that tight first set. There'll be a lot of questions in his mind at the moment. margins and you're under a lot of pressure to actually go out and take points away from him he does control games very well from the front oh, 
グラウンド Experience and he's a great thinker on the game, Kenneth. He's always been a deep thinker on badminton. He was a little bit of a late developer. In a lot of style of play, developed his own style of play. Yeah, net court on the net shots. Missed it. Yeah, within striking distance. Peter's got to take one or two chances there. Where he's got, get, where he's got Tafik deeper in the court, he needs to use the net a little bit more. Very intelligent play. Oh my goodness! Missed it. Lovely, isn't it? Deception. Clever, thoughtful play. It's the last, last moment that he. Coaching break and Peter's right back in this. Major events worldwide. Lovely to see them here in Birmingham. forward to the net he's got his foot parallel to the net rather than facing the net so he's putting a lot of pressure on the knee oh. when it's needed a new one if the players disagree, of course, it's the umpire who makes the, the decision. Service over. 18-17. That drop. Short. Well, needed to it. Well, one point away from indeed doing that. <laughs> good, good. Twenty. At this stage of the day, it's going to take a special shot to win each rally. It's got to be a net cord. And it's Oh, brilliant, once 
Ross again for his shots. And Hidiat has saved two game points. Big high serve. He's done it. Would you believe it? I'm saying what a good front runner he was. Well, he didn't he didn't prove us right on that occasion. But you know, I think that if he gets down in a game, sometimes he can lose his concentration. But this is a title he so desperately wants. I'd be surprised if he doesn't keep his focus all the way through. Yeah, I'm not sure that the deciding factor is going to be physical here. I think it's going to be mental. Yeah. Both of them really, really desperate to win this match. And I think it's going to come down to who's mentally toughest rather than who's physically toughest here. There's a clear advantage for one over the other. Oh, look at that. within the rallies themselves has, has not diminished at all. They're both still really, really flat out in the rallies. But here we're seeing the... Short. Uh, got what it deserved. Sava, Sava! 26 minutes. It's quite understandable that they're taking extra time in between rallies. And it's good at umpiring, as you say. game but surely the Dean can't afford to allow the Indonesian to get too far in front. You know I'm sure Lars in the coaching chair there will be saying as many points as possible before 11. Hold on don't let the first half of this game go. Stick in there. And psychologically both players will be aware of how they've had a favourite end. They've done better from one end of the court. And the Dane will be looking forward to getting to that fast. On the other end. ...of the game here. <coughs> oh. Peter just trying something different, taking a little gamble, maybe not a bad idea just to mix it up at this stage of the game. to the coach keeps his muscles warm by just moving walking back and forth in the second set the first two or three quality yeah. well initially the um, umpire oh sorry it was out yes it was out I was going to correct it Yes, the line judge first of all indicated in, then changed 
11. mind immediately and said out and the umpire just confirmed to tell the kid that he would Makes that backhand look so easy, doesn't it? Consistency than Taufik, but it's very, very close one to call. Yeah. This has been a very, very intense match. Yes, indeed. Of course, we're not sure who the winner is up against the qualifier, Sean Wan Ho of Korea. He's thrown a lot at Peter and not been able to get through. Oh, okay. That's an incredible shot from that position. Yeah. And he's brought it to an end, that run of five points from Gaida. After the rally. Both these players must be feeling the pain. Missed it. Just long. It's pulled wide. Very difficult. Oh, my goodness. The Dane coming forward thinking it was going to be a net shot return of serve. And then the Indonesian 18, just 17. flicking it over his head. But he never gave up. Oh, my goodness. The Dane coming forward thinking it was going to be a... Both of them wanting time here, I think they both know this is absolutely critical now. 19 all. Look in the decider. Big high side of the game. Go wide. Well, did he? Twenty. Third set in a row. Fantastic smash. Fantastic strength from Taffy there to find. Oh, 
it's called good. That must have been mightily close. Sansova, 21, 20. Coffee. I have to say, my initial reaction was that that was long of the back line. Second match point for the day. Again, this time he's done it. The Kiviat, obviously visibly disappointed. The Danish flag, U20, the first in favour of the Indonesian. And the Dane having to come from behind.